get it. Round two. Okay, yeah, any questions? If, if y'all want to call into it, let them know. Because I got to click the button. You know. okay, so I'm going to let you know when we go. When you ready to do that? Right. Like, yeah, All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Should I, you got my camera? You got my camera? Yeah. Uh. All right, tell us when you're ready, Shy. Okay, so we're back with the business show. Like I said, I am your host, Diana Lachey. We have your other host, Cousin Adi. We're in the um, studio right now with the twins, Kenneth and Kevin. We got Uncle Tali in the building, and we are going at it right now. So right now we were talking about relationships, and I was trying to really get out of them, you know, what they were looking for. Because there's some women who are following us and watching and want to know what's going on in this relationship game that we all seem to be playing. So we were on the tally right now, and we were talking about, you know, what are you looking for in a relationship right now, Mr. I like who like me? Listen, I'm going to keep it 100%. It's crazy because as I'm sitting there talking to y'all and I'm on my live feed, as I said what I said, somebody will tell me I'm a fraud. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep this shit That's on. Don't tell me. Live, live get it right at you, you though. Don't tell me yeah, I'm a fraud. Live. Talking about uh, because the situation that me and her was going through didn't work out because it was a issue about what she was doing and what I was doing. I guess she was more offended because I was doing me more than she was doing her. But that shit was done. Like, how are you gonna be with a man and tell him that he can do everything for you, support you, take care of you, make sure you're 100% good, but you ain't gonna sleep with him? All right, so let like, me ask you a really? question, though. When, when so, you like, happen? I know you, so one thing I do yeah. know about you for sure is that you are a provider and you're a type of man who don't mind working and don't mind bringing home the bacon. But I also know that you are a type of man who like to play and do one dabble. So what killed me about you, because like most men, you do want to be in a relationship, but there's certain things that you're not going to stop doing, even to be in one. So you could have a good girl, but you don't know. Cause no, 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 you no, feel no, like no, because no. you pay the bills, you can do whatever no, you want. No, 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 no. Listen, you listen, do. Some, listen you do. at the, a certain point in time, once you stop doing shit that you're supposed to be doing, then I'd be like, fuck it. Like, you going to be like, if we in a relationship and we having a good thing going, you cooking, you cleaning, you doing this, you doing that, and then when you start falling short, it's only right for me to fall short. But what's what's the right thing? Like, what do you? What's expect? the right thing? So let me ask you something. In a typical relationship, right? You in a, what do you call the right thing? Like, what do you want out of your woman in a relationship? I need my woman to be there for me, not trying to motherfucking be. This and that to everybody, her girlfriends, run out here, take care of this. Or oh, I gotta take her here, I gotta go do this, I gotta go do fuck that. If I say I need if we home, I get off work at seven o'clock. Right. You say you cook dinner, you've been home chilling, waiting on me. I'm going to bed at ten o'clock. You talking about you going out to have some fucking drinks and I'm going to chill with my girl. No, the fuck you so not. So let me ask you a question. Do you prefer a woman who's past that age? Like at some point, us as women, we pass that age. Like me. I club, I was sneaking in clubs when I was a kid. So by the time I turned 21, I was burnt out with clubs. So do you prefer a woman who's past that age? Yes. At some point? Yes. Okay, because you're a man of a certain yes. age. So pretty much you're not looking for no young girls. No. All right, so let me ask the two young bucks over there in the corner. Because we're going to get to them because they're over there crying, looking at their lips and shit, trying to be cool and everything. So let me get to the young bucks because, like I said, we're a a wide variety of ages right now. So we need the young bucks' input. You know, young bucks. So we're going to go to um, Ken first. Ken, tell me what you want from a woman. Like, what's your ideal woman? I just need a woman to deal with my people. See, I <laughs> yeah, that was good Where did you get that from? College. Did you get PTSD from college? Like, where did you get that from? Hey, where did he pick that up? Yeah. I, I, wasn't even, I wasn't even ready for that one. I wasn't even ready for that one. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's, let's, talk, let's, talk, let's, let's talk. Where did you tell the people? Tell them how you feel, Twin. Tell them how you feel. I got you. When you 
not around, I ain't gonna sweat you. You know, but when you with I me, I cut them off like a motherfucker. So let me ask you something, cause y'all young and y'all know, no y'all know spicy. Like I'm gonna yeah. say again, we all friends here. We know the oh, list. They a little spicy I'm down there. Don't get it, Mr. Strew. They they spicy yeah, on the M down there. So. We gonna get into it, like I said. We gonna be unfiltered. We gonna talk about what we talk about. So, you know me. You done had the conversation, right? So, you you like chicks who get down. Like he like his chicks to be real spicy. Like he like his bitches. To, he like his bitches to bag other bitches and put both of the bitches on. So you know he one of those. He's real, real, real spicy with his. So when I say you like women who What's like up, women, baby? and you like women who really get down. So I'm gonna say uh, to you, what do you want out of a relationship? Because it's hard to have a like we gonna say a spicy woman who into what she into I and still be a woman at home. Because you can't be at the club bagging bitches and be home cooking at the same time. See, and I know you also like that too. Yeah, and so see, that's the thing. Sometimes you want your cake and eat it too. That was why you fall in mind. But you know what? I need a woman. I need a woman. Who so you want a woman who cook and clean and yeah, I cook and clean, so it ain't that hard. Right? So you gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a lot. Like, okay, okay. And you gonna shine when I shine. Like it ain't, it ain't all the time. So, so let me ask you something: oh, okay. Is that a necessity? Like, is having a chick that go bow? Is it a necessity? Like, is that something you can do without? Like, if a chick really had her shit together, could you do without all that? <laughs> you, know she she go, yeah. Twin, you, yeah. you know she yeah. going we deep. Get, we gonna get to the real talk. Yeah. I told you this you gonna be know she going deep, and it's gonna be uncensored. And these yeah, motherfuckers, we will. gonna talk about the real that's shit. What she <laughs> we gonna get spicy. <laughs> we gonna get real. No, 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 no. Wendy Williams ain't got nothing on her. No, Wendy Williams ain't got nothing on her. They said I want Wendy Williams on. I start telling all the people. Wendy Williams ain't got nothing on her. But see, yeah, these my little youngins, like, they go with this and they let it know. Like, there's a lot of chicks watching this, and there's a lot of chicks out there who like that. So, you know, I might not be doing no harm to him. I might really be having this player card. Because now he got to explain to you chicks what he like, because y'all know from watching this video. Question. So, I'm going to go again. Is it a necessity? Like, that's nah, nah, no, not at okay. all. So, but you got to cook and clean. Okay. You got to, you know. I'm with that. I'm you with that. Hold me at night. Okay. Okay. Hold okay. me on the other side of the king side. Roll your ass over here. Okay. Uh, so okay. you like to be held at night, huh? Right. Yeah. He like to spoon yeah. a little bit. He yeah. like to spoon. Oh, you don't. He like to spoon. It's cool. Yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. That's not right there. Listen, question. That's I have a question. Time out. Yeah. He like. He likes to spoon. That's not right there. I have. I have a question, and I need this to be answered. Listen. Men do wrong. Women do wrong. Right now, how is it that when a woman do wrong, she can blow that shit off, wipe it under the table, and we as men, okay, that part is done. I'm cool with it. We discussed it. It's over. I don't give a fuck no more about it. Time out before you answer. But whatever that you done, it keeps on running the same head, the same shit. Over and over, but we said I gave you a pass on your shit. shit. You gave well, me a pass well, on my shit. Well, okay. But this shit keeps coming shit. up well, about me, me and let mine. Me, let me answer this for y'all, for y'all to understand. One thing you got to understand about a woman is we are more oh, emotional man. creatures than y'all are. Yeah. Like, y'all men, like, y'all are a little bit more harder. Y'all can deal with shit a little bit better than we can. As women, we are very, very emotional creatures, and we yes. attach our heart to everything. So everything that y'all do kill us. So I'm going to explain something Bitch, to y'all. Bitch, die slow then. No. <laughs> die fast. <laughs> Look, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Like, come on, stop saying you forgive me and then keep bringing this shit up. But see, let me tell you something, and this is true with y'all men. Y'all men know how to fuck up good, but y'all are bad at really fixing y'all situation because y'all know how to cheat, y'all know how to go out and do all the things that y'all got to do, but y'all do not know how to fix the situation once y'all broken it. Like, y'all can fuck y'all relationship up with y'all girl, but when the girl sit down and have the conversation with y'all, like, look, babe, I understand that you did what you did. I'm going to try to get past this, but we need to come to this understanding. And I need you to do this, that, and the third. See, women, we hold on to stuff more. So you got to realize, as a man, never introduce anything into your relationship. You don't want stuck in there because we hold on to everything. So when you get in a relationship with a woman, don't cheat on this bitch. Because what you do, you can never do nothing. Everywhere you go, Listen, you're cheating. Once you say, I forgive you, and you, it's done, right. it's done. But 
I forgive you, they but I never forget. Exactly. But I forgive you, but I never forget. So at the end of the day, I forgive you. I forgive what you did. But listen, let's keep it focused. At the end of the day, listen. Now we can never, now we can never put it past you. And that's what you'll understand. See, if you've never cheated on me, I can always give you the benefit of the doubt. Like if a bitch come over to me and be like, listen, I heard your man is this and this. One thing about you. you Everybody know, cheat. You know your man. So at the end of the day, you'll give your man the benefit of the doubt. You'll be like, no, I don't think my dude did that in the third. But once a man cheats on you, you can never give him the benefit of the doubt because he's already proved he'll do it. That so anybody can come to you uh, at that point and be like, no, but oh, I, I see your man that was you know, cheating you know, But that's even you'll believe it I, I because he's proved he's done it already. But listen, you know, so you don't want to introduce that into know, But see, you have to understand. Okay, but that's how y'all might feel covered. Now y'all just like the man. So right. all the stuff that you just said to us that we ain't supposed to do, y'all do now. But let me tell you something, in this real talk. Women by nature, we are family oriented. Every woman you ever so know, when you ask them as a kid what they want to be, the first thing they tell you, I want to be married, I want to have two kids, I want to have the house with the picket fence. And so women by nature, we nurture her. But it ain't till we get with you slimy I'm, motherfuckers. No, and y'all no, be doing no, all that no, shit no, y'all be doing. No, no, now the no, bitch just ain't no, shit because no. a bitch by nature no, no, is not just they fucked up. But you got to understand. But some of y'all they should look for picket fence. They should look for their own fence. Exactly. Exactly. Like, Stand up with your own self. for fucking picket fence. Look you you so independent, yeah, whatever. and I you can talk that. all that shit, then pay your own fucking but, bills. Okay, so let's keep it funky. Like, pay what you worry. That's what bosses do. You a whole different breed. Right, you a whole different breed. But because you're a woman, you might not need a man, but you want a man. No, these See, bitches need a man. <laughs> all these bitches yeah, need a man. That's the same way for us now. Everybody I want to need a man. Fuck out of here. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you why y'all need women. Brandon, you finally, you got a good one, boy. You better keep that one you got. You got a strong joint. You got you got a good girl. These bitches I got down here ain't worth a fuck. Shout out to Quan, because you better hold on. Y'all come from. That's all right there. She looked a little rough today, but. She fixed up nice. <laughs> you can't holler at the TV in the rain. Listen, yeah, let me tell you something. That's crazy. Like, people like y'all too, I can understand, don't really need women because both of y'all know how to clean, y'all know how to cook, y'all know how to do the things that women would do for y'all. But I'm going to say again, just because oh, y'all don't need a woman don't mean y'all don't want a woman. I don't want one. Oh. <laughs> Back why. again. Everybody because, want a woman. Yeah, yeah, I know. You might I not know. want the bitches you ran into. Too. Everybody you want You might not want the bitches you ran into. But you want a woman. Yeah, everybody want don't money nobody too, want to sleep they don't know how to get it. You know what they say? Don't nobody want to be broke at night either. You know what they say? Shit. The women you have, you don't want. The women you want, you don't have. You can't have. So you make it, and all that shit, you don't sleep good, you a fucking lot. Yeah. I sleep very well at night by myself. That's because you're on the whole sporty going on. No, because I like, no. After I do my little thing with my chick and we have a good time, I need her to roll on her side of the bed, I need to roll on my side of the bed. And you can she got a big ass head on my arm. I'm going to sleep. She got a hand on the floor. I can't sleep. I ain't got no cover. Come on, bro, talk. What you say? I need to go back to, uh. Yeah, my girl the 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 two. The, the twin beds, push yeah, them together, we do our thing, uh, then push them apart, and we go to sleep. So you want to be in relationship sometimes? No, I want to be in relationship all the time, but we ain't got to sleep together all the time. Like, we can sleep in the same room, you can have a twin, we had twin beds, when we together, we together, then push them apart. Because you take all the cover, you push me off, my arms sleep, I'm watching you, I ain't I'm going to ask you what was the purpose like, of that Like, for real. <laughs> What's the purpose? But then when you want some nookie, you want to sleep together. No, we ain't sleeping. Not at all. So, but, so, but, no, but, but, okay, okay. So, y'all not sleeping, but say y'all get it in. Now, y'all right. in the twin bed. Now, after y'all get it in, y'all gonna be tired. You gonna so, push the beds apart. It don't take much. Put my foot just like this. So, we can't sleep. We can't, that's why y'all be smiling. And that's how the true feelings do. Exactly. That's, that's, that's his true feelings. That's his true feelings. That's his true feelings. That's his true feelings. He a buttercup. He wanna be in a relationship. Don't let these men fool y'all. They want to be in a relationship. Yeah. They love spooning well, and hugging listen, up. And, I appreciate you at least calling us men. I'm to be what's listen. going on okay, out here well, well, now. Let's, let's talk about it. I will say about every I person that. at this table. I'm a surrounded by men, ladies, so let's get that out there. We are surrounded yeah, by men. Like I said, we around men yeah. that work. We around men with jobs. We around men with responsibilities. They got their own and they doing their own thing. So, I mean, but... 
they also have an opinion. I so, you know, everybody pays Everybody the got same. one of those. You know, so it's funny, but you need to hear this stuff. Yeah, everybody got one of those. Yo, y'all really need to hear this stuff. So we got a caller in the building, so we want to um, focus on our car. We going to chime into our Don't car. Don't talk about, talk about. Hold on, listen to my nephew with this bullshit. Who is it? Kenner Cash. I sat back, Kenner. I listened, and I'm like, ah. They need Dominic. it in the Yeah, I said, you know, you got Pep written all of his bike, his car. You big know, Pep won. Big Pep, and then he won two sides, big, slide together. Like, you different, boy. Yeah, I remember he was uh, different. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> what, does, what does that mean? What does that mean? He is different, different. He is different, type different. He got big pimp on his bike. Uh, he got big pimp on his bike. He got big pimp on his bike. He got big pimp on his bike. He changed the, you know, the, 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 the motorcycle speed on to a Harley. You walk around with blue joy. You change, man. Wait, so let me ask you something. I'm moving slow fast. Do we do it like Johnny Gale in the new edition? Remember that? Like, Johnny was wearing boots. <laughs> like, do we look like Johnny Gale in the new edition? Bob, I wouldn't know what was up. He got his motorcycle. Hey, listen, on. listen. Oh, you wouldn't know. You don't talk to me. You don't walk the same. Listen, you know, listen. Can I check his ID to make sure he's in time? As you go. I'm just saying. Oh. I'm old. <laughs> Always won't be there. Like, hold, 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 hold up, folks. We're going to go to this caller. See, we got this caller on the line, so we don't want to wait forever. So let's go to check Stay out Bay. Stay Bay. we going to see Bay. what Stay Bay want to talk about real quick. We Shall I give you what Stay Bay in? You on, Stacey. What's up, Mama? She's she not on it. She ain't on right now. She said 18 minutes ago. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, well, Bay left. Stay Bay said she tired of waiting yeah. on us. We talking too much. Our shit, fault. So. <laughs> we saw yeah, Stay Bay in my bag. If you want to come back, on no, you can back, back, on back to these little young Thundercats over here. Okay, we gonna go back to the Thundercats. What the Thundercats got going on? He gonna tell me that I'm different. You different. That's you different. What he said. said you ride boots and white and white. You wear silk robes and shit. Silk robes, silk robes and clutters and shit. And I'm from South. I got this cool ass polo over like. Rock. You gotta move different when you get older. You can't move the same way. It's called growth. But it's called growth. Exactly. Well, you growth, gotta growth and wisdom. Growth that's, that's and wisdom. It it's growth so and let wisdom. Me, let me ask y'all but my characteristic hasn't changed. At all. We're yeah, all parents still sitting still the same around man. this table at whatever <laughs> age. We all have children single. at all different ages. So let me ask you a question. At? What's the hard, hardest part about raising children today in these day and ages the since mother. we all have children? The who? The mother. The mother? Great answer right there. Can we no, 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 no. Just them thinking that they know everything. Just yeah. them thinking that they've been here before. But the kids? Yeah. Well, shit, we thought we'd been here before, too. I know, I know. I, I know what to see, see it. I know what to see it. No. It was different when we was doing oh, yeah, it because we wasn't there. Well, you know, coming up, your parents always said, all the hell you gave them, you was going to have sure. kids to give you the for same sure. For sure, for so sure. So you get But I don't get a bunch of, yeah, no, but I don't better get a bunch of. I get Yeah, I got to give a question. What is the hardest thing? I was blessed with my kids. So, Ken, why is the mother the hardest? Uh, let me get the question again. What is the hardest part about raising, raising kids, kids today? Kids today. The answer, yeah, I, I agree. I clap. I clap and applaud when Kevin said. I wouldn't say the mother. Oh, shit. I will say that. It's communication. That too. Oh, it's cool. The yeah. child or the mother. You must Both have communication. Between you and her. Yeah, it's that's, the mother. That's where the mother comes no. from. No. It's the mother. It's you don't. So you didn't play no part in it. Any cat. Any cat. I know really. Well, see, y'all young players down there. So I already know uh, y'all and y'all baby mothers when y'all break up is in situations because y'all little players, uh, y'all running. I don't want to be telling all their business, but I'm telling all their business. It's the business. I said we're going to talk about our business, we're going to talk about y'all business, and we're going to talk about the business at here. So the business at here right now is that these are two young players, and they be running these little hoes and, you know, doing the things that they be doing. So it's hard to be in a relationship when, I mean, you might be now, but I knew you for a while, so you wasn't always in a relationship. So, Miss Relationship Woman I'll that he's grow, in, don't grow. see this video and be like, oh, well, so we talking about past tense. So let's talk about 17 years ago for you. 
for me? Yeah, because you keep talking about everybody. Well, let me, well, let me tell you something. I don't want to talk about the white people. I was about, about to go there. I was, I, yeah, I was about to go there. I was, about, I, I, was, I was about to go there. 18, 19 years ago. Thank you, Jack. The light skin boy with the fucked up haircut. He's still he's here. On Diamond he's Street. still around. Talk about that. He ain't got no hair now. On Diamond Street. He's still around. That nigga look like Fu Man Chu now. Come He's yeah. still around. Like, I don't know if he's black. Yeah, yeah, he's I don't know like if he's black, that. Chinese, yeah, or whatever. That's my man. I don't know if he's black, That's Chinese, or whatever. He Shout cut his hair off. He's he Chinese. Have, he have, he have half. He Chinese? No, he white and black. Shout oh, out, that shout out to Yeah, I like the light yeah. skin. I like him light skin, babe. That's fine. She's the only person I know like skin. I like him light skin. They're the making a person. comeback. They're making a comeback. But y'all know what? You know what? Lies. Because his boo was light skin, too. She's oh, all right, all right. No, she was Puerto Rican. She's Puerto Rican. Same Puerto Rican. shit. Oh, she was different. She was Puerto Rico. Yeah. Same was shit. Different. Puerto Rico. Ain't nothing she but a black girl with a girl. She just hit her she I right. text her phone to the law again. I told her I was confessing. But you want to know what's crazy, you though? Confessing your love. You, you want to talk about something that's different? You want, y'all want to talk about something that's different in relationships and what? all that other good stuff? What? Yeah. How I move sideways and I'm changed and this and this. How do a nigga leave his wife and then go get the same chick that look like your wife twin? You know what, though? Don't Who does look. that? That's the thing. Niggas got types. Who yeah. does no, that? No, 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 Same no. big ass head and no, everything. Let me tell you something. Oh, that was for me. Nigga, who else we talking about? Oh, that was for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, he okay. throwing shots. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Bop, 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 okay bop, the bop, shots bop, 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 bop. He throwing shots. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, what he's saying is, is your Let's new boo. Let's be clear. Exactly. His new boo look like his old boo. Exactly. exactly. Oh, I disagree. It was, a, it was a coincidence, right? <laughs> it was a coincidence. Did that skip you? It skipped you because it was a coincidence. Oh, he just fell off the chair. It was a coincidence. Oh, we live, baby. It just happened to be a coincidence. It just happened to be a coincidence. I'm going to tell you we're so special. Ain't nothing wrong with a coincidence. There's nothing wrong with a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. It actually is a coincidence. There's nothing wrong with a coincidence. But I don't think it looks like it. One's nice and one's nice. Ask your brother. Ask your brother. One's tall, one's short. Yo, turn to your... One's thick, one's skinny. Turn to your left and ask your brother. Ask me about what? Oh, you think they look like? Huh? I think they favor each other. Yeah. I think all black people look like that. They do. So what? But all that really means is he. Did you hear his answer? Did you hear his answer? Say that again. I think all black people look like that. Oh shit. That's you know. I just think you got a type. You know, everybody got their type. Right. So you like light skin. You like light skin. I like beautiful women. You like short. You like beautiful black women. You know, no husky to the ground like a back truck. Like however you like. You know what? All y'all putting a spin on that shit. Let's keep. We keeping it a hundred. This the business. This is the business. No, they. This definitely the business. So give them the business. I wish I had two pictures. Hey, listen. Next week. Next week, I'm bringing pictures of both of them. Oh shit! No Matter of fact, next week I'm bringing both of them. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. How about that? We gonna have Tommy on next week. Next so week I'm bringing both of them. Wow. And he's gonna have pictures. Yeah. He said he I don't know about both of them. They <laughs> might not be on next week. I might pull them on the week after, but they might not be both next week. <laughs> he just you just said bring one one week and one next week. We ain't bringing both of them. Exactly. Hey son. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. That's crazy. Okay, so. We have Richie in the building. So Richie Little said, Rich, what's going on, baby? Richie, Rich. Richie said he wanted to know why these moms out here living Instagram rich and they really on, what do he say? They really on welfare checks. Because <laughs> oh, that's man. what they do. And they love it, guys. The they system, love it. The system is giving them every outlet from Section 8 to food stamps to ch- child support to everything. It's to the point where the mother is not even the one that's taking the child support anymore. Right. The Welfare system. is because yeah. they've been getting the fucking stamps and cash. Yeah. yeah. They helping them out in every fucking way. Yeah. But you know what? Listen to me, and I'll tell you this. And from and a I guy, a little hurt, but from a guy it. who's been in the system for a while, I have five kids. I have five girls. And he got a starting five. I was starting. I was starting five sixes. out of. He got the six. Listen. He went and, on uh, the bench. Dealing with that child support thing is is I'm I'm a whole different breed. Like. My thing is, I have good baby moms, and they take care of my kids. They don't be wearing jewels. My kids don't have the little beady shots, all that shit. So when I go to court, I just be like, go do what y'all going to do. I don't give a fuck because I'm going to make that money. And 
as long as my kids are taken care of, it's only 18 years. Because if not, I'm going to put that shit in the strip club. I'm going to give it to this other little girl. <laughs> I'm going to run that money out. So my baby moms are well taken care of. And y'all can go online. Y'all can ask all this shit. And some of them on it. We done, we done been on court. We done done all that shit. But I they know that child you know, support checks coming no regularly. Baby mom taking yeah. Tommy has four yeah. baby right, moms. Five. Five baby moms. I'm sorry. I don't have those Five. Yeah, they do. Right because right now. Now. their girlfriends yeah. get in their head. They girl. Oh, I had, I had, listen. I had I mean, one of my baby too. moms. I ain't even going to say it. I took care of her. She was out of work for like a year and a half, two years. I paid her rent. I gave her money. I did a car note. And when we went to child support, she told him I didn't do shit. Yeah. Nothing. Hurt me to my heart. And then you know the judge was like, I got I got receipts for this, I got receipts for that. They were like, that's what you supposed like to this. do. Right. So let yeah. me ask you something. Do y'all think that having a good relationship with your baby mom is a necessity to have a good relationship with your children? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Because yes. 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 if you Absolutely. don't, yes. that I, shit I, is going to break down yeah. until they get older. Definitely. Yes. 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 Been there, did that. Yes, I definitely agree. Doing a I definitely agree. All right, so let me ask you. I call my children's kids? mother every day to talk to my kids. And I ain't talked to them in three weeks. My kids? Tell me she don't want to answer. My kids are 13, 14, you got so many 20, 24, and 23. All right. 22. Like my son is 14. My daughter is 12. How old are your kids, Kev? Uh, my oldest is eight. My youngest is five. She'll be six on the thirteen. Nah, my oldest is twenty-four. My middle is twenty-one, and my youngest is sixteen. Okay, and only shout one out son, Kabir, so Sabria, Quill. Big, shout big, out little big Richie big Rich in the building. Six, six. Rich boy on Instagram and Facebook. The one your kids' names sound like dominoes oh, in this bitch. Oh, That's oh, all right. Oh, they are kids. Oh, They're oh, allowed oh, to oh, sound oh, like oh, whatever. Shout them kids. They out. are kids. We got good kids. Yeah. 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 That's right. And you want to know what's crazy? We blessed. We blessed, bro. But you want to know what's crazy about it? I got all girls. I got all girls. And believe it or not, and I'm going to put this out here, and I'm and this is coming straight from my heart. Like, to all my baby moms, like, Damn, I know we done said, had a whole no lot of ups and downs, and I know I've been a whole dickhead and an asshole, but it wasn't from my heart. Charge that shit to the game. Y'all so know how I grew much. up, and y'all know what I've been through. But right now, at this point in time in my life, you all know you will not have a better baby father than me. You can call me, you can come to me, and you know I'm there. I wish I would have known then what I know now. I would have been a better father. But I was sitting here thinking the other day. That, as far uh, as the, no, seriously, real shit. How many people <laughs> have a, know their father and or agree, know their dad? I, and like, I agree with you. And I, I, and I put this to you guys right here. And I'm just some shit that's never put out there. Like, I know my dad. But right now in my life, I've never, ever met my father. Well, see, I'm different. Ever. I'm, I'm different. My dad raised me. That's the reason how I learned. Well, who's your father? Man. Gary Flamer, senior. Was well, your father your dad? He's all of it, okay? He's all the above that a man's supposed to be. Well, okay? I clap my hand to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Everybody don't get well, this. Exactly. Don't, I, don't I, don't I don't have it. I don't have it. Everybody don't get don't this. Don't clap your hands to hey. your goddamn hard. Yeah. 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 Y'all knock my phone over. <laughs> Shout out to all the fathers. Y'all can meet me in Miami. I'll fly out that side. I'll stop knocking over the table. Guns are knocking over stuff. You going to stay there? Got you alive. Six in Cali, Metro Pole. That's where the fathers will be at, man. For sure. Yeah, What's up, baby? For sure. Hey, cousin. Cool. We do this every give day. Give a shout out to my cousin, right William here. McCall. Cousin yeah, Poogie Poo. That's how we do it. I had some shit. Cousin Dee Dee, we all that's in the you. building. That ain't me. What it was? That's somebody's phone popping off. What? I had somebody, whoa, 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 we, we, we. Oh, all right. No that? phone calls. We're not taking no phone calls. <laughs> if you want to like, call, Lay, call Global Tunes. GlobalTunesRadio.com, y'all go That's on where we y'all Android, y'all go on Global Tunes and y'all can talk to us and come on into the app if y'all have um, Subscribe Apple, right now. come go on to www.globaltunes.com and I don't know if the Apple subscribers will be able to talk to us, but the rest of you guys Man, will. We're way past our time. Are we past our time? No, um, I'm trying to go on Okay. Mine's ahead. Mine. Yeah, you can take y'all out, so. Okay. Yeah. 
That's because uh, cousin keep clapping and knocking my phone. Nah, 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 nah. He got my phone on you my knock. Yeah, hey, baby, listen. Yeah, we uh, yeah, from we from Facebook. Facebook. We reached our time limit. But uh, well, no, we, we, gonna, not, we not off yet. We not off yet. Okay. Well, cause we can after we after we get off the power, we can just go straight live on on, on our drones well, together. Well, I'm actually on my phone. Yeah, I mean, so I'm actually on. So your we can, we can go I into that. Yeah. That's all right. So I got That's all right. Global tunes, radio, or put you on live. So we, we do commercials. So where they can see us all. If you want to make a commercial, show. if you want to do a I'll commercial. Be back. Okay, guys, hey, Brandon, we got to get together. Call us at 267-597-0684. We do commercials, and we also put on commercials. Tell get back at us. 267-597-0684. 06 Global Tune. Global Tune Radio. Dot com. Dot com. Did y'all want me to sing to y'all before we left? No, we oh. not want you to sing. We don't want to hear no padding in the bell. <laughs> yeah. 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 That gotta be Richie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richie, Richie. Hey, you got know Fred Sanders to go out. Ooh. <laughs> Richie, Richie is in the house. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to bring you in here with your silly self because you know he don't have no fear. It's been a good time. If Everybody we don't see you here, you. we'll see you here. Everybody talks I'm going to have to go home and check this out. To and, uh, see how this thing Wednesday, goes down tonight. Every Wednesday, 8 o'clock, Global Tunes Radio. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. The Global Tune Radio. So, like I said, if you have anything that you want to market, if you need some commercial spots, some airtime, get with us. This is the business show where we talk about our business. We talk about your business. We talk about the business ahead. Like I said, we're in studio with your girl, Deanna Lachey. We got Cousin Nadine. We got the twins, Ken and Kevin. We got Uncle Tally. So, what time will be the next show? Next Wednesday, man. 8 o'clock Wednesday. Make sure y'all there. We're gonna get. It's going to get better, and it's going to get bigger. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Check us out. I don't know what he done did. It's they been a beautiful like thing. Cut that ass off. That's what he did. Yeah, cousin, and, I don't know what cousin done did. We ain't going to be here. <laughs> <laughs>